So in terms of, say, the flying mount, uh, that idea, of course, was it did exist and it would have been nice if we were able to incorporate it in the initial relaunch as heaven uh, as a realm reborn um, but we had to consider the schedule uh, we had determined that august 23rd 2013 was the best time for a realm reborn to relaunch so um, we were not able to incorporate uh, the flying mount element due to the schedule timing so of course there's that situation but also with um, airship crafting that's actually a new element that came up in our discussion of when we were considering creating heaven's word uh, because we're taking to the skies we would have we wanted to incorporate an element where a group of people can come together to build something and and take advantage of being able to fly together so that was conceived uh, after a realm reborn was uh, released so there are it's, it's a case by case uh, situation per uh, the different elements that are Uh, just to clarify, uh, not just for Heaven's Word, but for Final Fantasy XIV in general, uh, we have had multiple, not only major patch updates, but we've also had minor patch updates. And every time uh, we try to reflect and resolve any problems that were raised by uh, through player feedback. Um, and so it's we've been incorporating uh, the feedback from the players throughout um, the management and operation of Final Fantasy XIV in general. So um, it isn't something that we're specifically doing just for Heaven's Word. It's something that we're continuously doing. And uh, actually, we're going to have a minor update next week, and we're already um, resolving one of the issues that was brought up in a very recent um, episode of Producer Letter Live um, that the player had brought up to our attention. So we are constantly um, listening to the player feedback and trying to see if there's any problems that we can resolve. But, um, in terms of um, elements that are uh, fed back to us from our players and items that take more time in terms of development, of course those elements are um, integrated um, after, after a certain amount of time. So one of the biggest elements that was based on player feedback that we incorporated in Heaven's Word was um, the lot system for the different raid content. Um, in A Realm Reborn, sometimes the, the raid content uh, would only drop items that your job won't even able to equip, and they, that was an issue that was raised by uh, the players, and so we incorporated, uh, we fixed that problem in Heaven's Word so that um, it's a different kind of system that will reward the player um, and uh, provide obtainable gear um, and uh, we, we hope that has bettered uh, the system. Yoshida loves game making and, and he's also a professional at it, so um, as long as he is receiving a, a salary from the company, um, it is sort of the discretion of the company whether or not he stays on the project. But at the same time, it's also up to the citizens, the players who um, choose to have uh, Yoshida as their, their leader, so to speak. If they think Yoshida should recede and, and they, he should not be there anymore, like, he can't fight that. So um, he'll have to uh, agree to that. But if the players desire for him to uh, be there, um, he would love to continue being um, part of Final Fantasy XIV. Um, but in, in any case, uh, whether it's the company's decision or the player's uh, decision, he will continue to, to make games and he will enjoy doing that because it is his passion and, and he He thinks the biggest difference is that um, with the Dragon Quest, uh, Mr. Yuji Hori, uh, the creator of the series, uh, or the story part of the series, is um, still involved in the game making process, um, not only through the story, but the game mechanics and the system, and he's still supervising uh, the games that are being created in that, in that series. So. Tough question, but uh, if he were to recommend a couple, uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, um, the, the movie, uh, watch the director's cut, make sure to watch the director's cut, and also Star Wars, watch watch all of the, the titles in the Star Wars franchise. Um, some Most people, he may have already seen both series, but maybe 
some of the newer generation may not be familiar with them, so he definitely recommends those.